Hey, this is Trish, and today I posted a photo from a poll uh, that's from a local TV website, and um, and it's about should the Harrison County Courthouse take down its nativity scene because apparently somebody's complained. Well, yeah. Yes, you absolutely should take down this nativity scene at a government building. It's been nuts. I just kind of posted this and, uh, you know, I just said this First Amendment violation needs to be removed from, you know, public taxpayer funded property, basically. And uh, it's been so interesting to see how people get so defensive about having this nativity scene at the courthouse. I mean, why are people's personal religious beliefs so threatened by acknowledging and adhering to the Constitution? which clearly says that our government will not establish a religion favoring one religion to the exclusion of others. Boggles the mind, and yet, it's Mississippi. The Deep South is still under this mass delusion that America was founded as a Christian country, and it was not. And as long as we have the Constitution and the philosophy of the separation of church and state and Article 11 in the Treaty of Tripoli that says the government of the United States was not in any sense founded on the, on the Christian religion, it's pretty simple. And yet these religious um, conservatives are, <laughs> are you know, they, they want their religion to be promoted to the exclusion of others, and that's just illegal. You can't do that. Um, the The problem is is that they only like this because it's their religion. It's, it's the same problem with pr prayer in schools. Just be, the only reason why people want prayer in schools is because they assume the prayers will be Christian. The prayers could be Islamic. The prayers could be Hindu. The prayers could be satanic if you allow prayers in school. And so if you're going to allow a nativity scene, from one religion, you have to allow the symbols and other uh, special, important uh, symbols from other religions and other holy days that are observed by other people. So, um, I mean, so it could be something uh, Muslim, it could be satanic, it could be Hindu, it could be whatever, it, it could be pagan, which actually, you know, of course, the Christmas tree is completely pagan. Um, as is Easter and the Easter Bunny and, you know, the Advent wreath, you know, all that jazz. But anyway, that's another video coming up soon. But anyway, so that was my day today. Still dealing with the uh, short-sightedness and narrow-mindedness of people who think the Bible supersedes the Constitution. And it does not. So, anyway, I love you. I hope you have had a great day, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.